Good afternoon everyone, just let me turn my light on, there we go. I hope you're all well. I'm starting my video in a big mess, as per usual. But I thought I would show you a couple of variations um, with the pocket, the what's it called, the library card pocket that we started yesterday. So let me see if I can find, <laughs> I should have found it before. Oh, here they are, right in front of my face. So I thought one variation that would be good would be with um, scanned postcards, the backs of them. So let's trim that down. I had these in my to-do basket, so that's good. They get used up. I have one more here, so we'll do two of those. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. All is good here. It's a little bit cloudy. It's cooled down, not quite as muggy as it was before. So I'm very happy about that. But certainly, probably, oh no, it was our wedding anniversary yesterday. And I'm just remembering that when, the day we got married, it was 30 degrees. So it was pretty hot. So um, yeah, September can be a bit up and down. So what I thought would be fun with these was to use some vellum. So, I just need to put a marking, I do it? yes, I think I'll use this, so I'm going to do a marking on this one here, I need to cut it there, and there, and I can do two about the same size, I, oh, could I squeeze one in there, I probably could, right, oh, I might do that a little bit bigger. Okay, Okay. so that's good. This is super easy. So then what I'm going to do is maybe fold up the bottom. Probably can't see what I'm doing. So fold up the bottom on each one. And then I'll fold in one side. And then I'll just slide it on there to get my measurement and fold up the other side. And leave it, I'm leaving it a little bit wider than what I actually need. And then all I need to do is cut out my little corners there. And I'll cut them at an angle. Cute way to put a pocket on something. You can even do it with not vellum. But I thought vellum was nice because you could see the writing underneath. So at this point, they're not really library library card pockets, but they are inspired by those and the shape is similar. And I'm just going to use this. Hopefully it'll stick. If it doesn't, you can always stitch around it. This is a pretty good glue stick this prick glue my favorite of course is the Jotto, but i've got mushy a mushy batch so i use it sparingly now i'll glue that on there slide that down i didn't back the postcard with anything because um oh i needed to slide it over a bit just a sec i didn't back the postcard with anything because it would i'm these i'm thinking to glue them onto a page Make sure you center it, kind of. So that can go there. It's not perfect. Cute. Oh, I could have folded that one over a bit more, but it doesn't matter. We'll just leave it. I'll try and be more precise with the other one. Snip out my bodgy circle. Okay, so let's try and do a better job with this one. There, I'm going to slide that in there. I'll probably fold it over too much. Oh, oh well, I'll have to wing it. So, if you were to make a mistake, you could just trim up a little bit off your postcard and just make it a bit narrower. If it was only a very slight mistake. So 
this time, maybe I'll slide it in and then put my glue on, I think. Do it that way. I think that way is more efficient. Okay. So put some paper under here. Maybe just flip it around so it's not sticky. The nice thing too about vellum, if you run your nails along it, um, it um, you know it flattens very well. Just grab my towel. I've got a bit of glue on my fingers. There we go. Okay, so that's two done. And then I'm going to round out these corners a bit like the, I like these pockets. These are fun. And when that was stick down, you could always glue something on there and make it a journal card, but I want to stick it down on a page or put it as a side tuck even. So that's those two. And then my other thought, now I might have to pause my video if I don't have one in it. I'm just going to have a sip of um, coffee. My other thought was to do them with those big um, flower pages. So let me see what I have here. Sort of so when you don't, like I would cut those ones out, those pages where you wouldn't necessarily cut the flowers out because they're not right. Like, I wouldn't cut those out, for example. And nor would I cut these ones out, probably. Okay, so this, oh, sorry, this is the Oxford Book of Wildflowers, B.E. Nicholson. So write that down, because I never write it in my description box, not because I'm mean, just because I can't remember, it's too hard. Too hard to remember. Now, I'm just thinking about this one. So, or you could fold that up like that, but no, I think I'll do the transparent bottom on it. So, I don't really need it to be this long. So, I could trim it down. Yep, just thinking where, maybe I'll trim it there. I might trim the top bit off as well and I'll just trim that edge there and I'm also going to trim it in half and we're going to have two let me think about this two narrow ones yes two narrow pockets here yeah? and then I, that I'll keep I'll turn that that can be turned into a tag sideways or a pocket so we keep that, we'll put that in the to-do basket. The to-do basket is forever growing. Now on this one, I think I like the bits with the pop of red. So I think I'll trim this bit off at the top. And I'll put, I'll trim that little edge off there already so it's done. I'll put that in the to-do basket. And then here we can take this edge off. And... Again, we're going to trim that down. Maybe I'll make a wider one. That can become a tag for something. So that's going to be a wider one. And then the other book I thought could be good. Where is it? I saw it before. Oh, here it is. Is this book. I love this book. This book is uh, The Wild Flowers of Britain and Northern Europe. And it's by uh, Richard Fitter. So take note. As I said, I never remember to... Put it in the description box and again this is a book that sometimes like these sorts of pages I mean I've done other projects with these sort of things I I won't go and fussy cut those sorts of things out that's just too bothersome for me so um so we'll take out both these I see I wouldn't cut those either they're so well you might need some little flowers for somewhere so maybe I would 
maybe not. Anyway, we'll take these two, similar colours they are. Put that over there. It's a good book. Uh, but sometimes, as I said, some of these flowers, you just wouldn't use them. So I'm just going to trim that off. And I'll trim that edge off. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to do them in two different ways, I think. So one, one I'm going to have the writing side and I'm going to fold it up like that and make a pocket like that. So I'm just going to, as narrowly as possible, fold them over. Oh, the dogs are howling. So you want to you want to have a giggle. So there's a lady that left me a comment the other day that the dogs were howling, um, that she couldn't stand the dogs and she wasn't watching anymore. I just thought that was really funny because um, they're not my dogs and I can't help it if they howl. So I'm sorry if it's annoying for some people. But, you know, it's funny that um, you can the dogs are so annoying but then some people say they can't hear me. So I don't know how that works because the dogs are way over somewhere in someone else's garden. I wouldn't even know what house they're in, to be honest. But anyway, each to their own. As I always say, don't like it, move on, no need to comment. I can't, there's some things that are just out of my control. I can't control them. I can't control other people's dogs. Don't even know where they live. So here we go, we've got one pocket. I just thought that was actually, that that comment gave me a giggle. And I thought, you poor woman, that you had to leave that comment, um, that you're having such a bad day, um, to be really be bothered by it. Okay. It's just a bit like bar humbug. That's what I feel like saying, bar humbug. So there we go, we've got another one. I love that with that. With that love that with that I love that with the um, book page so I could do that one the same way I'm just thinking I think I'm going to do how many have I got here I've got three so these ones I'm going to do with the the vellum here and I'm wondering if I'll do that one with the vellum let's just grab the vellum where's the vellum gone Play vellum. so that could just fit there see that would be nice that would be a very big pocket I think I'll do that one the same way as the other one so I have two I just do it narrow there. It's really a whizzy project. Very, very whizzy. Okay, and fold that one up there like that. So the possibilities, I think, with this project are endless of what you could use to create your, we'll say, library card style pocket. It's a, it's a style of pocket because we're not actually putting all of the, um, you know, what, what is actually on a library pocket and in their card, you know, their cards that are cataloging the books. Yeah. Here we go. We'll just fold that one up. So we've got two of those. I might say this might be one of my favourite ways of creating pockets really quite fun I quite enjoy doing this That's that one and again I'm going to snip my corners I don't know for some reason I like them round I will cover up the upside down man in a minute so that's those two and then okay so let's get this and we need pockets so I'm going to put a marker here these two I think I can cut those two the same size I think vellum is a very handy thing to have I really do that one I could get another one out of that what's left over that'll do another one okay and then we'll do the bigger one in a second so I need to fold up my bottom just got to remember this fold up the bottom didn't leave myself very much. Then take, oh, I can fold in one side. There. Take this, slide it in. It's quite a bit wider, so we'll just trim a bit off. It doesn't matter if it's not straight. Unfold that side in. Trim out our little corners. 
and then we can glue it on. Make sure we don't glue it on the wrong side. Okay. So let's try and line this one up a bit better. That's the way to do it. Line it up and then glue it. Run your nails along and that'll stay down. You know, not, not bulky. Okay, cool. It's a bit crooked. But the good thing it's transparent. If I do this, it might distract us from its unevenness. Okay, now the next one. Right, let's fold up our bottom. I know with the, this one I can be a little bit generous with uh, this flap over here because there's it's quite wide. So of course you can mass produce these. Tina got us onto all of that. You know, well actually just putting the title on it because I'm I know lots of lots of people mass produce things like you know mass produce as in you do a bit of a um production line when you're making many things many journals or whatever if you're making you might be making ephemera kits to sell and stuff like that um you do tend to do things in a bit of a production line that's what the mass producing really means it's not like mass produ production in a factory that one's better I think I could make these all week. That's that one, and now this one. So we have this piece, or oh, this piece does fit there. Oh, isn't that good? What I might do is I'm just going to trim that little plain bit off because it's a bit tall. Oh, and I didn't round my corners, I need to do that. I'll just trim that bit off to the writing. There we go. I like that better. And I'm just going to fold up. A little bit at the bottom, a little bit on the side, so I can measure it. Put that in there. Fold that one in. Okay. Cut our corners out, and that, and you cut your corners out because you're just cutting out the bulk, so it's much easier to glue and it sits better. so we can put that there we put our pocket here and I'm making sure I've got it on the correct side I'm not putting my pocket on the wrong side and I'm just trying to see if it's kind of straight I'm on a gluey patch here okay Okay, cool. And I'm not going to snip that one because I like the ripped edge. Right. So next, we'll just round these corners. One. So look how quick that was with another. How many done? Can I count? Seven. I can count. Just. Okay, so then uh, we need to fix a few up just have a look at them oh I might fall off my chair in a second okay right I just want to you know you could just add a little bit of something to it 
little bit of um, stamped things or paper. I think I might just put that there. I think I'll put that there. I like that. Oh, goodness me. Now, I did say I was going to make some things to go in, but we'll, have a, we'll see what time it is. I had pulled out some stuff, but I, I tell you what, I'm in a mess. Does that surprise anybody? I don't think so. You could put a little Tracy label up there or we could put some stamped something there a stamped something um, where's my stamped box here it is my stamped things and I'm wondering if I've got any little stamped numbers anywhere I, I should do because I had like you could put something like that on there Maybe not on that one. I think I'll put it on this one here. I think I'll put it there and maybe put a little piece of this under it. Do I do that? No, I don't. I do not. I think I'll put it down there. Up there. Up there. Okay. Just to do something. And you can keep them fairly simple. That's the fun thing about it is they're fairly simple, but they're very pretty, I think. So that's that one that one okay put those over there now we have this one here and I'm, I'm just having a little macchiato here um i have these faux stamped stamps just a sec oh, i bought this little ruler i just thought it would be a good little ruler to have because it's got the grid on it um, easy to take away with you and it was like one euro or something on AliExpress and um, and what I found was it's got a little edge on it how cool is that it's got the little wonky edge on it so you can do tear, wonky tearing which is really cool well I think it's cool so I get a little wonky you know tear it torn edge on the edge if that makes sense I'm going to put that. Oh, there we go. And that stamp came from AliExpress as well. I've never, I mean, I, I do buy some stamps. I try and stay away from ones that I can identify as being someone else's, um, like Tim Holtz or anything like that. I tried to stay away from those. Um, and I saw that they've been um, um, copying the French brand. I, brand, I, think, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Floriage or something like that. That's a really nice brand of stamps, and, and I saw some of their stamps on there, so I didn't buy those. I'll buy the, you know, the originals. Um, yeah, but I just try and buy things that I don't recognise, that I haven't seen before, and I wouldn't know where to go and get them otherwise. I think I'll put that down there. I love that. There we go. Simple, simple, simple. Now here, we do have an upside down leaf. Um, so I'm thinking here, I could quite like some... Maybe something like this there. And then um, I'll just tear it off vaguely because then I'll trim it down. But I could like something like that there. And then, do I, now do I want the bit with the writing on it? Yeah, maybe. And then I'll stamp on it. That's what I was thinking. And I'll trim off the corners again. I probably shouldn't have snipped those until I decided what to do on that one. Oh, I've glued it to my piece. I always have to jigsaw puzzle everything back together. Okay, bit of a chatterbox today. Actually, I'm just going to fold those over because it's going to be glued down onto a, a thing anyway, onto a book page. And then I'll trim trim those back to what kind of what they were. There we go. Look at that. Looks like it was meant to be there. Now let's stamp it. Um, 
what do I have here? I pulled out a whole lot of things. I might do this. This is an old vintage stamp or antique stamp, really. I think it could even be... Oh, I might have the date there. Let's stamp it and see. Um, now, I don't want brown. Where, where's my black gone? Not my black, my... Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Excuse me, guys. Right here in front of my face. Let's just test it. It stamps quite well. Oh, no, that's their phone number. It was a short phone number. I'm going to put it... I'm going to maybe center it. Testi Torino. Carburanti Lubrificanti. I wanted to use that one. And we could just put a little... Oh, I like the little pop of blue there. How about that? Oh, and I'll tell you what, my mum rang me yesterday <laughs> and she said to me, congratulations. And I'm thinking, hmm. And I said to mum, what for mum? And she said, it's your anniversary, you ding dong. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I said, oh gosh, I'll have to message Steffi. He always remembers. He usually remembers and I always forget. It's normally, isn't it normally the other way around that the men always forget and the women <laughs> remember what I always forget. And um, and so I said to mum, oh, I have to tell Steffi. And then, and Steffi even forgot this year. He never forgets. Um, I don't get upset about things like that because I'm I, I have trouble remembering as well. Um, I'm just going to wrap it around the corners, I think. Uh, I have trouble remembering that sort of thing. Um, so I said to Steffi this morning, I said, Steffi, did we forget something yesterday? And he's like, I don't know. Did you forget? I don't know. Did you forget your house keys? What did you forget? I'm like, we forgot our anniversary. We, we, we completely forgot. He's like, oh my goodness, aren't we silly? And I said, yes, we are. Very silly. Mum remembered. Okay, I won't wrap it around the top because there's not enough, but I will snip it off like that. And I'm just going to make up where the curve is. Just make it up as you go, guys. Yeah, I like that. I like using these old, sometimes they have like images on the other side that I don't like, but the paper's a very nice colour. You don't have to do anything on it to make it look old because it's already old. So I quite like that. And I'm thinking I might put that. Oh, yes, I think I'll put that there. There's no rhyme or reason. I just like it. Just because. Sometimes it's just because. Put that there. I like it more than the type that was on the paper. And I'm thinking... I'm going to stamp something. I'm just going to look at these stamps. I love these stamps. They were very El Cheapo on AliExpress. Now, I know sometimes I get a lot of questions. Where Can you tell me? The thing is they sell out, but then there's many sellers that have them. So you just really do need to go on there. And it takes hours. I literally sit there for hours. You know, in the morning sort of thing. If I get up early, I sit there for hours. Um, and that's enough on that one. Okay, so let's see what types of things can we put in um, these pockets. Yes, we can put tags, like we can put something like this in. Or we'll make this one up and see if it goes in any. So you can have this type of thing, which is not traditional, um, traditional, what do you call it, library card pocket. Let me just check the time. I've got my... Oh, it's already one o'clock. Oh, I don't have to go yet, do I? No. She doesn't get out until two. So I'm going to glue this to something. Um, just looking around to see. I've got some... Oh, no, I don't. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't have it anymore. I thought I had some thick straw paper, but I don't. But I do have some... Oh, no, I don't want that. Do I have a plain one of these? The, one of these would be good. Plain, but I don't think I've got one. They're all written. I like the pattern on those. Okay. 
Righty, hey. Well, that's it. Oh, here we go. We'll glue it to this. This is actually quite thick, so that'll do. It'll be a floppy journal card, a tag, I want to say. Oh, it'll be a floppy one because it's on regular copy paper, but sometimes you don't have to make everything super thick. It's going to be slid into an easy pocket, easy to get it in there. So Sometimes I make the mistake and leave the, the side I don't like showing and, and, and not the plain side. Let's make sure it's all glued down. And of course you can trim around it if you want to. I mean, not trim around it. I am trimming around it. I mean, stitch around it. That's what I wanted to say, stitch. And I'd like to snip the corners off. It's just a look that gets me going at the moment. So this one, now we've got all of yesterday's as well. So we'll remember those. We didn't do anything on these. Did I need to do anything on these? That's the question. Look how many pockets we got in such a quick session. So I think that's really cute in there. And you could just have, to match the, the tag, you could just have a little piece of this glued on like the other one over here. Let's just see before I glue it. And that looks a little bit, yes, look at that. I like that. That's it. It's so exciting to me. It's nice to make sometimes. I don't always do it, but it actually, actually really is a relief. Um, when you're putting a journal together, that you've got the pocket with the tag already in it. Makes it really easy. So, I mean, that could be embellished more, but I actually really like that. So that's one done. How quick was that? Okay, number two. Um, I did pull out some things. Here they are. Is this them? I don't know. What's the, what are these? Oh, these. Oh, these are really good. I got these at Daiso in Sydney. I got these at Daiso and they just, they had a little ring. A plastic ring, actually. It wasn't a very nice ring. Otherwise, I would have kept it. Um, and, yeah, I got them at Daiso and they, um, I just tea dyed them. So maybe they'd be good. So you could just put a little stamp here and then we could have some i shouldn't close that should i we can have some some letters um what will we put um we'll start with n i'm trying to think of you know the first three letters of words might put not or now what about now no nowhere yes nowhere would be another word but I don't know anyway I'm just you know just make it up as you go like that they're a bit messy these that's why I don't use them so much look they get all the smudgy bits on them uh, and what else could we put on there um, put that in there so you can keep it plain I think that's really fun to do that and then here I was thinking I could just stamp that. How about that? It stays on, so that'll be right on the vellum. It'll dry. And I love that. That's really simple and beigey. But you've just got a cute little journal card that can then be further decorated. So I'll put that over there to dry. Now we have this pretty one. And uh, now what type of card will we put in there? I had these two. Oh, there's some more postcards, you see, to do more. So we don't need those now. I can do those another day. I don't know what I was going to do with that. I've got more of these. So maybe I'll do another one of these. Um, I'll find something else to stamp on it, this one. And... Where are my kicky ones? I just put the ND on there. I've just got that here. Where are the rest of them? Oh, they're, I threw them in the bag. I'm just going to make it up. It means nothing. Okay. Put that one there. And then maybe... Let me think about this. So I'm going to put that in there. 
So you can, these pockets are very, um, you know, they're, they're loose. So it's really, really easy to slip more things in them if you want to. I'm just thinking I might need, I want to embellish this one a bit more. I might use one of these. I had pulled these out for one of my videos the other day and they're still flying around on my table, of course, aren't they? So I'm just thinking we could have a little botanical, little botanical card here. Put that there and maybe have a little bit of, so just pick the things up from your table. Little, yes, we'll put that there. I'm just having too much fun. I just don't want to stop, but I need to stop. I have to go and pick up my daughter. Poor dear. Can't leave her at school. I can't believe we've, we're in our second week of full-time school. That hasn't happened since last March, last year. It's just incredible to me. I think I'll put that there just to break that up. See, so sometimes you just need the smallest bits to make it work. There we go. And that one is done. And that's going in there. I'm not going to make something for all of them, but we'll do a couple more. We have this. I think these ones like this just really just call out for something simple like that. So we'll just find some random stamp and stamp on it in a random fashion. And then you just stick it in, in your pocket and you're ready to go. We don't have to have over the top. Oh, and the other one I thought of would, that would be really good are these. I think these are really good in there, in these pockets. Let's see which one. Um, see, I quite like that in there, just plain. Could stick a flower on there. Let's see. I do quite like that. I want to put something underneath it. Put that up there. No, it's a bit the same colour. I need some old book page. That's what I need. There we go. That's it. Now that 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 tag is not reinforced. It's just regular paper. It's floppy. So you can glue it, you know, to something else and make it stronger if you want to. But as I said, these pockets are very generous, as in, you know, they're not tight pockets. So you can easily just slide even these sorts of bendy things in there like that. OK, so that's that one. And then I wanted to do something with this. I had this is a Stamperia stamp, I think, and I wanted to stamp it on an old piece of paper. I might even stamp it with brown. I don't know how well it's going to stamp. It's a bit bendy. I've never, I don't think I've even, I might have tried it out. That's all I've ever done with it is, I've got the saddle brown. Let's see how we go with this. I'm sorry if that noise is bothersome. I'm try, I try my best, but you know, sometimes I forget and become vigorous. Press it down really well. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. So maybe I'll tear ruler it out. Oh, other side. Let's use the other side. I was very impressed with this little ruler. Tear that one bit off there. It seems to hold pretty well. As I said, great to travel with. I should really blot that. Okay, 
And then I'm going to glue that to something on the other side. What will I glue it to? I could glue it to this. Will it fit there? Yes. Oh, I quite like that. So I think I like the other side more. It's got more colour happening on it. So we'll just do that. And then we'll get this ruler again and we'll just tear it so we still have the tearing happening. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tear this one. Just go slowly. Yep. That's cute. I'm going to keep that. And then here, I'm going to put something on here. Not that. Yeah, stamp it. Let's stamp it. Oh yeah. That's interesting. Is that the best way to describe it as interesting? And then, um, so either you can put it in one of your pockets. Maybe this pocket. You could put it in that way. Or maybe one of these plainer ones. I was thinking because it, then it would looks like it's, you know, it looks like a um, library card. Then you flip it around, you can put it in that way as well, which is pretty too. So I think I'll make a few of those and they can slide in these plain ones and stay plain like that. So there we go. I think I'll end the video now. Um, got a bit of making here to do. Look at all these pockets everywhere. Um, so I'll end the video because I need to go and get Lulu. And then we're at risk of me not posting a video today. So um, I'll end the video. Hopefully I remember to post it. Otherwise it will just go up on Thursday because tomorrow is the stitchy day. So I will see you again soon and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it and I will see you again soon. Bye.